Have you ever wondered how AI could interact with WordPress in a smart, structured way? Not just answering questions, but actually navigating, updating, or extending your site like a developer would. Well, the WordPress Feature API is an experimental idea that might just make that possible. This isn't a new feature coming to WordPress core, and it's not a plugin you can drop in expecting a polished UI. But there is a working demonstration plugin that showcases what is possible. It's part of a broader proposal exploring how WordPress can expose its functionality in a structured way that large language models can understand and use. Today, I'll walk through setting it up, show you some live examples, and explain how the pieces all fit together. Let's dive in. So what is the WordPress Feature API? Well, it's a proposed system for registering and exposing WordPress specific features, like updating posts, retrieving site options, and customizing settings through a standardized API. Now this plugin was recently open sourced by the incredible team at Automatic, and it's available right now on GitHub, and I'll leave a link in the description below. You can simply clone it into your plugins folder and start experimenting. So while this isn't about building AI into WordPress itself, it's very much about making WordPress AI compatible by giving external systems a proper way to understand what WordPress can do. Now it's designed not just for core features, but also to be fully extensible for third-party plugins and themes. Now it is early doors, but the way I see this working is maybe say you've got a custom plugin for your client, or a custom theme, and you can create certain features of that theme or plugin to be exposed to an API chatbot that your clients can use directly in the WordPress admin. So getting started is pretty easy. Once you've cloned the plugin and dropped it into your plugins folder, go to your site and activate it. Then you'll need to add an OpenAI API key, and then you can start interacting with the chatbot. Now each request does cost a few pennies, so watch out for your usage. And if you want to take full advantage of the developer tooling, especially if you want to explore contributing to the project, you will need to use NPM to install, and then you should run the NPM run setup script from the project root folder. This will install all the required node dependencies as well as the PHP packages via Composer. It prepares the environment for development and contribution and ensures the entire tool chain is working properly. So what can it do? Well, let's try a few things. So once everything's set up, go to your plugin screen and activate the plugin. So you look for WP Feature API plugin, activate, you'll immediately see the AI chat box in your admin dashboard. But to actually interact with it, you'll need to head over to your OpenAI account and generate an API key or use an existing one. Once you've got a copy of that key, you can paste it into the plugin settings. Now, just one thing to note is that OpenAI requires you to have credits in your account to make requests. Each interaction with the AI will burn a bit of that credit, but it's typically just pennies per request. But if you're experimenting a lot, it can add up. So just be smart with your usage. Now let's try a couple of things. I'll create a post. I'll get my site name. And I'll show the currently active theme. Now those are pretty basic things, but it's pretty neat, right? So it is pretty limited at the moment, but if you dig into the default features, you'll see that everything is like a mini API. We've got a filter for feature default categories, and we've got call features. So you can query posts, you can create posts, or view a post by its ID. And you can just do stuff with users, like query users, create users, or view a user, or get the current user. So this code basically defines like a mini API. And you can hook into these things and define your own schema, 
by giving every registered feature a name, a description, and a machine-readable input-output schema. And that's it. That's how the AI will know how to interact with your site. So this plugin acts like an MCP, which stands for Model Context Protocol. But what is that and how does it fit in? Well, an MCP is like a shared language or a rule book, a Bible that lets an AI communicate with a system. And in this case, like a website in WordPress. On its own, WordPress doesn't speak a language. But the Features API acts like a translator inside WordPress. It defines what WordPress can do in a structured way that the AI can understand. And then this MCP adaptation is like a megaphone. It takes those internal WordPress features and makes them available to the external AI system like ChatGPT. So together, the Features API and the MCP adapter lets WordPress talk to the AI. And the AI knows exactly what tools are available and how to use them. And that's how users can interact with the chatbot. And so here's the magic. Any plugin or theme, even something totally custom that you've built for a client, can register its own AI-ready tools. You just describe what the tool does, what kind of input it needs, and what kind of output to give back. Think of it like filling out a recipe for an AI to follow. Once that's defined, the AI can see your plugin's features, understand how to use it, and even execute stuff through natural language prompts without needing to know anything about the internal code that's running in the plugin or the theme. This means that your plugin or theme becomes more than just backend logic. It becomes something you can actually talk to and get results back from in plain English. So that's my take on the WP Features API and how it can transform AI in WordPress. If you're excited about what you've just seen and you want to dive in, then the best thing to do is to go and grab that repo from GitHub, install the plugin and give it a try for yourself. You don't need to be an expert. It's just a few lines of code and you'll be exposing your own site features to the AI in no time. And if you're a developer, this is a great opportunity to explore how your plugins or themes can be extended for natural language interaction. And if you're just curious, you just want to play with the demo, it's a great way to see the future of WordPress unfold. And if you found this video useful and want to see more deep dives like this, do give the video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. There's more to come with WordPress and AI integrations. And of course, drop a comment below and let me know what you'd like to ask AI powered websites to do in the future. For now, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.